back geometry students, we're in section 5.3. We're talking about medians and the centroid theorem. And now we're in example two. We're actually going to apply some of our knowledge about the centroid theorem to this problem. The diagram shows the plan for a triangular piece of a mobile. Where should the sculptor attach the support so that the triangle is balanced? The heat is looking for the center of gravity. Okay. And at any time you're looking for where's the point of balance, where would I attach this mobile, where would I put, you know, where would I balance this mobile on top of, where, exactly at what point, then you are looking for the centroid. And we need to figure out, you know, the position of that point. Okay, we are looking for the coordinates. They are asking us where should the sculptor attach the support so that the triangle is balanced. We're not really looking for, you know, length of a side or not necessarily looking for that, okay? So let me walk you through this. Um, our first point is up here at 0, 8 on the y-axis, um, 3, 0 on the x-axis, and 6, 4 kind of out here in quadrant 1 hanging out. And you don't necessarily need to find all three medians. Remember, we, we need to find the medians of each of these um, angles, you know, from each vertex, I should say. And we don't necessarily need all three, but we need to find two really, really good ones, okay? Now, let's take a look um, what's logical to me is that 6, 4, point R, which is at 6, 4, um, that median could be a horizontal line. We'll look and see how close it is. We'll do some calculations. And then um, angle or point P looks like that's going to be almost a vertical line across from QR. That's going to form somewhat of a vertical line. So that might be the way we want to target it is don't worry about Q, trying to find the median Q over to PR necessarily, but let's focus on the other two points. R, let's find that line, that median over to QP, and then we'll do P over to segment QR, okay? So the first thing, let's, let's focus on QP. And we need to find the midpoint. What is QP's midpoint? So that's going to be the first little bit of math that we do. To find the midpoint, what you're going to do is you're going to add your X's, divide by 2, and then add your Y's and divide by 2. Okay? That's how you find a midpoint. The end. Right? Pretty simple. So QP, that'd be 0 plus 3. So 3 over 2, which is 1 and a half. And then 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's going to be the midpoint of QP. So let's find, we're going to estimate where there's 1 and a half, like just kind of find it halfway between 1 and 2. And then go up to 4. 1, 2, 3. Looks like it's about right here. And we do, it looks like we're going to have... That horizontal line there is the median. So I'm just going to connect that right here and connect those two points together. And that's the median that connects point R to the segment QP. And it ended up being a horizontal line, which is pretty neat. Uh, the name of that horizontal line, we'll come to that later. So kind of, you probably already see it. If it's horizontal, it always starts with Y equals. So, all right, the next thing we want to do is we really do want to find QR. We want to find the midpoint of QR because I told you I suspected that it's probably going to be really close, if not actually a vertical line. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add our X's. So that's going to be 0 plus 6, which is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we'll add our Y's. 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we're looking for a midpoint of 3, 6. So here's 3 right here where my pencil tip is, and then we'll count up. 
one, two, three, four, five, and then here's three, six. And it is, it actually ended up being exactly on that line. And so there we go. We have a horizontal line, which is y equals four, because it's going to cross its horizontal through four on the y-axis. And then we have a vertical line. And that, remember, vertical lines always start with x equals. Well, where is it crisscross on the x? At three. And so the point of intersection is right here. That's going to be our, that's where the sculpture will be balanced. That's the center of gravity for that particular object. And the name of that point is three, four. And that's what we were looking for. Where should the sculptor attach the support? At point three four. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. And if it didn't, I'll reteach that in class. And um, really unnecessary to do uh, the median from Q over to PR. If you already can use the two other medians to figure out the that center, that in not in center, but centroid, then you really don't need that third side. So that's why I didn't really pursue that. It should go right through that point. And even if I did do it, it should go right through that center, three, four. All right, thanks for listening.